Okay, you're gonna start with your sleeve piece and I have it down to the cuff cut line. Um, since I'm gonna be adding a cuff um, to the bottom, <clears throat> just like my inspiration photo, which is actually my sister. Um, and so I have the shoulder seam marked and then the middle marked. So go ahead and start by connecting those lines. Should be roughly down the middle. So for mine, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a total of two inches. Um, and this is the size 02 since I sized down um, for a slightly more fitted top. Um, but you can make it slightly wider or shorter depending on your preference. But mine I'm going to base off of two inches. Um, so after you mark that middle, go ahead and draw an inch on either side. Okay, so now this is going to be kind of our template. Um, you can cut it out if you want to, but you don't have to. Go ahead and get some paper. We're going to trace it now and add our seam allowance. Make sure you clearly mark which one is the front and which one is the back of your sleeve. Okay, now go ahead and grab your ruler and add your seam allowance. Um, since the pattern is has a 3 8 inch seam allowance, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. That way I don't have to remember what it is later. Then make sure you draw a right angle in all of those pieces. So now this part is done. You can go ahead and set this aside or you can cut it out. I'm just gonna snip it off and cut it out later. Okay, now with our front and back pieces, we need to remove the top of the shoulder since the our color blocking strip is gonna come all the way up to the neckline. And, and so we're gonna start off by marking an inch from the top. Since this already includes our seam allowance. I'm also going to draw a line three eighths of an inch. So this is where our seam is going to end up. And this is where we're going to cut out our fabric. So make sure you square up your, make sure you square up um, square up your seams. So now we're going to cut it out along here. So this will end up being cut off. And so then we're going to do the same thing to the back piece. Draw an inch from the top of that shoulder. And then three eighths of an inch from that line. That way we can make sure our seams are nice and trued. So 
So this is where, where, where the seam is going to end up being. And this is going to be how you're going to cut out your fabric. And this little piece is really important. Make it a lot easier to have that there. Um, and so once both of those are done, you can go ahead and cut out your front and back pieces. Okay, so now we need to calculate how long to make our stripe. For our color block piece. So the back and the front are actually going to be two different lengths since here the back is longer than the front because the front has the scoop. So we're going to base off our measurement from the back and then we will just trim the front after we sew it all on. And so we'll start off by measuring our pieces to see how long to do it and I already did this one and it's 3.75 after I take off the 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance and then we need to do our sleeve piece minus 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance and that's about 21 and about 21.75 and it's okay if it's a little bit long because you can again always trim it and so it's 21 so I'm just gonna let's see it's 21 22 23 24 25 and a half it's approximately what it should be for at least for my size and my configuration. And so I'm going to base off my sleeve off of that length. Um, and if you want, you can always um, make round it up to 26 and just trim. Or if you feel confident in it, just do that. And so this is the piece I made originally. And it's wrong. But I made my... So how I got this width is I got, I went to the two inches plus the three eighths of an inch for one side allowance and then three eighths of an inch for the other side seam allowance. And so it ended up being two inches by 2.75 inches wide. And I just made it in half. That way I didn't have to have this big long piece to cut out. And so make sure, again, make sure that you are basing off of your back piece when doing your color block, creating that color block piece. And then when we sew it onto the front, we'll just trim it off when we're done. Now, if you remember, my, my sleeve was 22 inches and then the shoulder seam and going back to the neck band was three and 3.25 and so you need it to at least be 25.25 inches long but I like to overshoot just in case. Well, that should work because of the seam allowance is already included. So that should be fine. Um, I'm just gonna do that. And so then you take, actually, no, I'm just gonna do 25.5. And then if it ends up being a little bit long, I can always cut it off at the end. So to make it folded in half, you just take 25.5 divided by two, which is 12.75. Oops, 
make sure you mark your fold line. And then stretch is going to be going this way. Okay, so then go ahead and cut that out. Um, and then we need to do our shoulder pieces. To stay up to date on the latest videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Or you can check out my blog at sewinginthings.com.